In this week's Edra, Pash Hazino, Moshe Rabbeinu speaks to Klai Yisrael and says the following, Su Yilotcha Teshi Tishcha Keil Mochilecha You've neglected the one that bore you and you've forgotten the one who's brought you forth. Moshe Rabbeinu is telling Klai Yisrael that you had forgotten Hashem. The question is, why does Moshe Rabbeinu say that Klai Yisrael forgot him twice? The Apostle uses two different explanations of Klai Yisrael forgetting Hashem. Why was this necessary? What's the Apostle trying to tell us? The Dubna Maggid gives us the following marshal which is going to answer this question. There was once a person who owed a tremendous amount of money to many different people. With the pressure mounting up, how he's going to pay back? And everyone bothering him, everyone calling him, when are you going to pay back? I need the money. One of his friends came up to him, who he happened to owe money to as well, and gave him the following idea. The next time someone asks you and calls you up for money, just behave crazy. Behave completely abnormal. Behave completely crazy. And he's going to leave you alone. He's going to think that you've just lost it, and he's going to leave you alone, and they're not going to bother you anymore. And this is exactly what happened. The first person called him up, and he starts behaving like he's completely not well. And this person left him alone. The very friend who gave him advice comes up to him and says to him, By the way, you owe me 5,000. When are you paying me up? And he starts behaving crazy. And he starts behaving as if he had no idea what he's talking about. And his friend said to him, Wait a second. I was the very one who gave you this idea to behave crazy so people shouldn't bother you for the money. You can't use my idea. You can't use against me what I, the idea which I gave to you. I gave you this idea to get you out of, out of um, needing to pay back the money. You can't use this against me now and not pay me back by acting crazy. Hashem gives us many different presents. One of them is the ability to forget something. That we had a very bad experience, a traumatic past, we are able to forget our past and be able to move on forward. This present which Hashem gave us, we can't use it against Him. We can't use this ability of forgetting to forget Hashem and leave Him out of our lives. This is exactly what the Apostle is telling us. Su Yulad Teshi, the one who bought us, the one who gave us the ability, Teshi, to forget, we can't forget Hashem. The present Hashem gave us to forget which we need in certain times, we can't use this very present against Hashem. And this is what the Apostle is telling us. It's not two forgettings. It's the present of us forgetting. We shouldn't use this to forget Hashem. So what we can learn from this week's Edra is that everything which Hashem gave to us, we can't use this against Him. We have to do the opposite. We have to use it for Him. We need to use it to serve Hashem. We've just had Yom Kippur. This was a time where we were asking for Mechila, we're asking for forgiveness for all the things we did against Hashem. All the presents Hashem gave us, we used it against Him to do the wrong things. We're coming on to Sukkah. Sukkah is a time where we sleep, we eat in a Sukkah, we build a Sukkah. We use our physical abilities to serve Hashem. We shake our Baminim, we use our money. We use everything which Hashem gave to us in order to serve Him. So this is the idea. We should transform from asking Hashem for forgiveness for using what he gave to us in a negative way and we're going to now turn into a positive all the presents, all the abilities, all the gifts that Hashem gives to us we're going to use this in the positive Hope you shall all have the most wonderful Shabbos